Have you ever had an early checkout with a late flight? Well, what can you do with all that extra time? Carrying around 50 pounds of luggage in one of the most dense cities in the world sounds like a nightmare. Ah! But it's such a waste to leave hours of free time and just head straight to the airport. Okay, you're in luck my friend, because there's a service just for you. Okay, and right here at the Myeongdong train station, look out for places like this. This is a uh, luggage storage area. It's the Metro Carrier Service. Sometimes, travelers who have late check-ins or flights will need a place to store their luggage while they get their crunk on. The T-Luggage service allows you to store or deliver them right to the airport. Prices range from 3,000 to 13,000 won for the first 4 hours, an additional 1,000 won for every hour after that. Not bad, extra noodles at a ramen shop cost more than that. There are also various delivery options to choose from. Does anyone know what living logistics mean? Um, I hope they're living. Uh -huh. Oh man, gives me the creeps. You can make reservations online or at the nearest service counter. They have locations at both Gimpo and Incheon Airport, along with locations at Seoul, Myeongdong, and Hongik University stations. I didn't even know a service like tea luggage was a thing until I went to Japan. We had a late flight, so to comfortably sightsee, we utilized a baggage storage company. Because Japan and Korea has such a great public transit system, there isn't a need to rent a car for most tourists. So it really makes sense to have a business that only holds luggage. Talk about easy money. I wish someone could pay me to just hold their stuff all day. Also, there's many lockers and metro stations across the nation that are oftentimes cheaper. They usually require you to input your passcode and then re-enter it to unlock. I used one of these lockers and I messed up the steps which resulted in permanently losing access to my things. Long story short, we had to call an emergency number to get my stuff back. I was lucky that my mom was there because my Korean is absolute trash. But if you don't have the luxury of having someone fluent with you, then you'll probably have the worst day of your life. My suggestion, if you don't speak Korean, then spend the extra one for a tea luggage. By the way, you can thank me by subscribing to my channel. You're welcome. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, here's some more suggestions. On this channel, I make entertaining informational videos about Korea. If that's your thing, please consider subscribing. And with that, I'll see you on the next Pixix in Korea.